All right, guys, my name is Al Asada. I'm going to be talking to you about 70TE trade. And it's really not a 70TE, it's really a weekly trade. We call it 70TE because when I put on the position initially, it's usually seven days. But within that, we trade even sometimes at zero DTE. I had a roll of position this morning, which was a 70TE. So we'll be talking a lot about that and a lot of details. And actually, I am going to give you the pure trading positions that I have right now. And I've evolved my trading in the five years that I've had a trade alert service and every year it gets better and better and better. So this is the biggest and the best that you're going to get. And this is a live webinar that we're doing today. And this is October 19th, 2023. All right. So please stay with me to the end. I've got a special bonus for you and you won't want to miss that. And here we go. So what can you expect? I'm going to show you how you can make consistent returns monthly based on margin capital risk and using uh, SPX 70 TE high probability trade. And the goal here is to manage these so you won't take large losses. And we're going to give you a lot of detail on how to do that. What are you going to learn? Uh, basically, number one, how to select the right strike prices the detailed entry, exit, and stop loss criteria to maintain consistency. Uh, number three, how to prevent large losses by managing a threatened trade and how to know when to trade and the best time to widen spreads to gain an edge on, on a position. And finally, how to trade consistently profitable. So again, I just want to say, stay with me to the end. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it uh, all the way through. So. I want to understand why you're here. And so I'm going to give you three reasons. Number one, you're interested in learning new strategies that'll take your trading performance to the next level and leave that nine to five career behind, uh, which I did about five years ago. Uh, you've seen, heard about, read about, and others making money in trading and you, you know you can do it too, but you're just not seeing your account grow fast enough based on your goals. And number three, you tried different trading strategies that you thought, okay, this is it, only to discover that it's not getting you to the place of consistent trading results. And so if you can just tell me in the chat group there, which one you're more affiliated to, number one, two, or three, and then I know that you're awake and you're, <laughs> you're here uh, as well, uh, just let me know. Okay, three, thanks. One, three, one, mm-hmm. Three, number one. Wow, a lot of ones and threes. Okay, here comes the twos. That's good. Uh, all three. <laughs> That's right. Okay, awesome. Okay, good, good, good. All right, very good. Okay, so thanks, uh, thanks for letting me know. I think we hit the right area here. All right, so I uh, just want to let you know that I am just a regular guy. I live in Puerto Rico. When um, my last kid went to, actually went to the to the Marines, my wife and I just came to uh, Puerto Rico. Now, those are my five kids in, in the middle. And then uh, my parents uh, and me, and this was in a, it's an MBA program. All right. So again, this is just me and I, I wanted to trade for a living and I, and I purposed myself to do that and I made it. Let's talk about mindset. Okay. So imagine yourself how it would feel like if most of your trade was win were winners month over month and it would be confirmed by the size of your account growing at the same time. Now that's what I do. Every single month I have profit. I consistently profit every single month. And the way that you do that is basically using the right trade and managing them correctly. So the other part is becoming the trader that you no longer takes large losses, but consistently trades according to a proven trade plan that's profitable over time, allowing you to grow your account month over month. I've created trade plans and tweaked them and made them better and better as we go along. I'm going to be doing another revision to it. So it'll be coming out pretty soon. For those of you who do not understand or know what a credit spread is, let's talk about it at its basic form. So a credit spread is basically a combination of two puts and two calls, and they're on top of each other. And that's why they're called verticals. Vertical strikes. So you do two puts and two calls, you know, one above the other. And the one that is sold is more expensive than the put or call that is bought. Okay. And that's how you receive a credit when you're actually placing the trade. So when you, when you place this trade, you're not, it's not a debit, it's actually a credit and it, and it goes actually into your account at that time. Now, the other part of this is that once you collect that premium, that's the highest amount of money that you're going to get for that trade. And we'll talk more about that.
So this is kind of the, the trade that you put on. So in this case here, we sold a 29 August 22, 4050 trade. That means that it 4050 is the short strike and 4040 is the long strike. And so that's why you get a credit. So this, this is more expensive than this one. And then the, the premium here is 50 cents. 50 cents times 100, which is the multiplier. So you're making $50 on this trade. The trade is considered to be a high probability trade. And the reason for that is because you're actually making a trade that is far away from the market. And the way that it happens is that it's called theta decay. It decays until it eventually goes to zero. And so every option has a life and it dies at some point. Now, when we manage these trades and we're uh, trading these and it gets threatened, we'll extend the life of that trade. <laughs> So we'll, we'll roll it and we'll do different things in order to, to keep that alive and then profit from it. So we talked a little bit about decay, but this is actually how it works. So from 68 days to 33 days, the rate of decay is 34%. Let's just say the market stays even during that period of time. That's how it decays. Obviously, when there's more volatility, it takes a longer time. When there's less volatility, it shortens the life of that position. So from 33 days to five days, the decay is 57%. And then from five days to expiration, the rate of decay is about 100%. And so you can imagine when I'm trading these trades, five days or seven days goes very, very quickly. And you can see it in your account that the position just decays, 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 decays until it finally uh, dies. So let's talk about how to be profitable. Okay, what are the profitability factors in, in this type of trading? So number one is implied volatility. So ideally, when you place a trade, you want the volatility to be higher than when the trade starts decaying. So the, the faster that the implied volatility falls, the faster there's the decay and, and the premium becomes very small. Okay, and that's what you want. That's the goal. So again, you want to place the trade when it's high volatility and uh, it's decreasing. When it decreases, you want it to uh, to go away. So profitability number two is theta. Theta, which is one of the Greeks, it, it measures the rate of decline in the value of the option due to the passage of time. And so uh, when volatility is higher, theta is, is stronger. When volatility uh, moves down, it's, it's weaker. So again, this is a big factor when you're trading these short-term options because they decay very, very quickly. So profitability number three is market direction. And so when you put on a put spread, the put spread, uh, you want the market to go up. When you're putting a call spread, you want the market to go down. And so market direction is important. And in a market that's generally a bull market that we're kind of in, we're, we're kind of sideways right now, but, but generally the market is in bull mode most of the time because that's where people put their money. So when you put on a put spread, so that's what I like doing. I put on a put spread first and then let the market move up and then I'll put a call spread after. So sometimes it doesn't work that way, but, but that's how you generally want to do it. So let's go real quick with risk management guidelines and daily routines, because these are really, really important and, and uh, you know, getting yourself ready to be, you know, to trade every day, right? Always trade with a plan, number one. Number two, determine what your max loss is and, and what your risk reward is before entering the trade. So you know, just make sure that you understand it. And just to let you know, this type of trading has a horrible risk reward. <laughs> uh, and, and I'll, and I'll talk to you about that, uh, in a little bit. Okay. Trade no more than 20% credit margin to, uh, of capital, right? So if you have a, an account that's $10,000, right? You don't want to trade more than 20% because with credit spreads, you know, there's drawdowns and, and you have to have enough margin to be able to, uh, to manage those trades over and over again. Uh, also, you know, just keep in mind, generally traders use 1%. I use 2% uh, of, of a loss. And uh, these are in different types of instruments. Uh, you want to keep your losses small. I always say trade often, trade small. For highly trending markets, position your trades to follow the trend and size your trades to ensure that emotions don't get you. Because if you're in a trade and it goes against you, you see the, the margin go up and, and your account go down, it'll cause you to not make the right decisions. Okay. So trading small allows you to say, Hey, it's okay. You know?
you know, I can take a loss, I can take a small loss and, and move on and, and trade another day. So that psychology is very, very important. Pre-market routine, review errors of support and resistance. I always understand where the, the support and resistance is. Review the dollar. Uh, and uh, and lately the dollar's been going higher. That's that's not good for S and P 500 uh, stocks. So you want uh, you know you want a dollar to be lower if you're if you're bullish. Ten year treasuries. I don't know if you've been uh, accustomed to to watching the the bond market, but I I watch it you know a lot. <laughs> and so when uh, uh, when when the bond market sells off, which means the the rates go higher, it puts a lot of pressure on the uh, on the market just because if a bond rate is 2%, it's not really going to compete with the market. But it, when it when it gets to, you know, 4% or 5%, uh, a lot of people are going to put their money into these treasuries because it's basically free money. And so that's why you see the market going down when bond rates go up. Okay, so review futures and futures are derivative of the S&P. And what you want to do is you want to understand the flow of, of those futures uh, because they trade basically overnight. The S&P 500 starts at 930 in the morning and ends at four o'clock. It closes at that time, but futures are always running uh, except um, for, for Saturday. Close on Friday and then they reopen at 6 p.m. Eastern on, uh, on Sunday. Okay, review VIX level and where it is. And lately we've been hitting on the VIX and right now it's basically 19. That's generally pretty high. Uh, based on, you know, where we've been, but you know, the market will, when we have real, real high volatility times, the market can go up to 40 or 50. And those are very few in between, you know, that that happens. But generally in a bull market, you're going to see around 13, 12. And, and right now volatility is higher uh, just because of these bond, you know, prices, you know, what they're doing. And so that's what's happening now. This tends to end after a while and we should be good. All right. Determine credit spread positions before you actually go in there. So what I do is I put my trades on and I save them before I trade. Even with 7 DTE, I do it as well, just to get ready and, and know what position I'm going to be placing so I don't have to think about it. Okay. It's very easy to do. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about the risk reward. Okay. This is the general construction of, of a trade. Now, if you're trading 10 contracts, and in this case, these are 10 wide. And so 45, 75, 45, 65. And with SPX, you can go as low as five wide. So in this case, it would be 45, 70, right? And that would be a five wide, right? And so they go in increments of five, right? So in this case here, you're, you're risking, right? With 10 positions of 10 wide, you're, you're risking $10,000 to receive basically 65 cents times 100, which is $65 or 65 times 10. That's basically your risk. $10,000 risking $650. That's horrible in terms of trading, right? But this is how credit spreads work. Okay, so here the max loss would be $9,350 which is also the margin requirement that you would need to place this trade. So you do need quite a bit of money in order to trade SPX credit spreads. Now let's go into the real trading that I've done just recently, okay? And these are trades from September to October. So you're getting basically the most closest trades that I've traded in this market recently. And so what I'm showing you here is not the right way to place trades, but I wanted to show you pretty much one of the worst case scenario. And it's not a worst case scenario because the market went down in this case around 6% or 7%, all right? But when you're trading credit spreads and they're going against you and the market continues to go down, right? And you have put spreads, those things go way up in value. And uh, it's kind of scary, you know, sometimes. But if you know what you're doing and you're managing your positions correctly, it works out. And this is what I'm going to share with you right now. What we started with is 9-15-2023. And you can see here that I started to place put spreads in this area. Now, it would have been great if I, if I started here. But actually, you don't know where the market is going to go, right? And I didn't know. I thought it was going to go up. And so I started placing positions here and the market kept going down and down and down. And so, you know, what we had is basically from 9.15 to 10.10. And so this is the time that I'm going to share with you on these particular trades. So here we had 18 SPX trading days in this time. The market went down 280 two points during that period of time and it's, it's basically 6.6 percent so it doesn't seem like a lot but when you're trading credit spreads these are threatened really threatened trades and so 
I'm going to give you the worst case scenario so that when you start trading, you'll know, you know, hey, I'm not giving you, I'm not selling you a bridge or anything like this, right? I mean, this is what happens in trading. This is not comfortable. This, these times when, when I'm trading and the market's going down with put spreads, these are not comfortable times. But if you have a plan and you manage that plan correctly, you will prevail. I promise you. So let's go through this. So this is now uh, 8 11, October 11th. And, you know, I placed two trades and you're going to, you're going to recognize them from the trade numbers that we give it. Okay. So we know what trades we're doing at that time. So I put on a put spread and I put on a call spread on this particular day and it was 4,400, 4,390, collected a 70 cent or 70 cent premium. I used two contracts, right? Which is basically $140 on each of these trades. So that's the max loss that you can, or that's the max gain that you can have on these trades. And so now we collected $140 times two because we're using two contracts. So that was great. I put on those positions. And then as you can remember, right, where the market was, the market started going down. So the next day, what happened was that the market went down and I closed 616 trade for 10 cents. So it went down, you know, far enough. And then let me see what we were, what we had here. Yeah. The 13th, we started on the, the 11th. Okay. And this was the, the 13th. Uh, let me see. Oh, this is an eight. This is actually not, not eight eleven. So 10, 13, the market market went down. And I closed out the call spread that I had for 10 cents. And generally I will close out a position. And I, you know, once I put on a position, I actually will put a closing position of 10 cents. So it automatically closes a position when it, when it goes down to that level. So I put on, you know, I closed that position and we were left with the 4,400, 4,390 position. And that trade now is basically, it was, it, it was threatened. So we're going to count here now because we closed the position at 10 cents. So I had to, that was a debit. And so basically I, you know, we left the premium at 130 instead of 140. Now I rolled trade 615 and I rolled it down and it was a debit. Okay. I decided to use a debit because I saw the market going down quite a bit. And so, you know, and, and again, I'm, you know, I can make this up as we go along and you'll see what happens. So I put on a new trade, a, a new call spread and that, you know, received, I received a credit of 75 cents. So remember we closed that other call spread and now I'm putting on a new call spread. And so now we have two positions. You can see here that I took away 40 cents. Now this position is at 30 cents. And I put on a new position, 619, and I use the premium of 75 cents. So now we have the premium, you know, we, we subtracted 40 and added 75. Now the premium is higher. So the, the premium I'm collecting is now $1.65. Now you can see here what happened again. The market went down. And so I closed the 619 position now. And, and then I rolled the trade again. And this time what I did was... I widened the spread. So I went from 43.85, 43.75 to 43.60, 4345. Now I'm able to do that by, you know, I can push it down, widen the spread and get, you know, more of an advantage here since, since the market is going down. So I collected 35 cents, closed this trade at 10 cents. And so we have 190 now is what we have, right? Because we closed one and added uh, 35 cents to this one. Now, you know, the market moved again. And then I, and then I rolled the position again and added an additional five, you know, five uh, points of margin. So now it's 20 wide position and I rolled it down for five cents, basically, you know, very, very small debit, you know, on this one, but you know, I'm taking that position down. Now I placed the new trade, a call spread again, since the market was going to continue to go down. I placed the call spread for a dollar 10 cents. And so we have now, now we have the premium at two ninety five. So you can see that the premium is growing as, as we go along because I'm adding, you know, additional premium on these rolls. Now we close the trade 625. This is the other, you know, the, the call spread that we had opened. I closed it at 15 cents and then I kept the put spread at 60 and now we have $2 and eight cents. 
or $2.80 uh, on this trade. Now we had 295 and now we went down to 280. Now I rolled, I rolled the trade 628. Again, this is the call side. So I rolled, I rolled this trade and because the market, you know, started moving up, started moving up. So I had to, I had to uh, manage this trade now. And so I rolled it for a dollar and 10 cents. It was a big, you know, that was a big credit. And so here now we rolled the trade and this, you know, what I did was I used a, I used the call spread and I rolled it over from a rolled zero DTE trade. So I used that in my, one of my, in one of my trades and I got a nice big fat, you know, uh, credit on it. And so, and then we still have the 615 trade here. So here we cr collected quite a bit of uh, premium now on this, on this trade. Now we close trade 628 for 25 cents. So that was the that big premium, you know, cause the market went down again and I was able to collect that, you know, take that premium off now. And so, uh, and then I rolled again, the, the 615 trade rolled it down further. Now, now we have a 43, 40, 43, 15 trade or position, and it cost me 15 cents to roll it. So, you know, and we treat, we keep track the, of the debits and the, and the credits as we go along. And so we keep track of that to see where we are you know, whether we're profitable or not. So now we have a 3.5 premium, you know, as, as we go along here. So now let's see. So we closed trade 631 and that was a call spread. We collected 20 cents on it. And then I rolled 615 again, collected 40 cents on it and, you know, widened it again on this. So we kept going. So now we have, you know, the two trades, one for 95 cents and the other for a dollar. And now we have a premium of 3.7. So now we're getting into October. So this is October 5th now, and the market started to recover. And so it started, it started recovering here. And uh, now I closed 633 for 30 cents. I don't want to get caught in a call spread either, you know, so you gotta be, you gotta watch that because <laughs> sometimes it goes against you and then, you know, it, it, it moves very, very fast. So you gotta be careful with that. Okay. So I rolled trade 615 again, and basically, so this is the sixth time I've rolled that trade. And so this time it was 4315, 40, uh, 4285. So I, I rolled it from 4315, 4285, and I rolled it basically down to 4310, 42.75. And, and I did that for a debit. So now we have 315 on the docket here. Okay. So now we are at now, you know, the market went quite a bit high, higher, and I rolled the trade again, just because I wanted to give it some more distance. And, and I rolled it, uh, with the same strikes. So now here, here it's rolled with the same strikes and it cost me basically five cents. So now we have this trade and it rolled, you know, we rolled it seven times and now we have it at 65 cents with a premium of three, three dollars and one cent. So now the market basically continued moving up and we got out of that position and it traded from, we, I left it from 10, six to 10, 10 and the trade expired worthless. So all in all, basically, you know, we managed this trade in order to, to keep it profitable and gained an additional, you know, additional premium as we went along. Now, this was a, you know, close to a 7% correction. And uh, people say, well, what if, you know, what if it keeps going down? In markets, there are times that, you know, they go down a lot. And at those times you really have to, you know, cut your losses, move on and catch it, you know, another time. But generally in a market, we get, you know, five to 10% corrections those are the trades that you can manage through as long as you're not putting on way, you know, big positions, you're managing them correctly and it works out. It just works out. So I wanted to share with you the performance here that we have. So on SP, you know, and this is this year's performance basically. So SPX zero DTE year to date, we have uh, 14,000 and I basically I'm trading two, uh, two contracts daily with uh, zero DTE. With 70 TE, we have a year to date 16 and, and it's a great profitable, very profitable trade. And even we work through this throughout the, the year. And so 70 TE is actually a higher performer, but I think that eventually zero DTE is going to outperform those trades monthly, a lot smaller. These are trades that you put on once a month and you just kind of leave them there and, you know, and things work out with that. I also trade options on futures and that's the 
year to date number, year micro futures, and then we have premium trades and ICE trades that we have also trading as well. So hopefully you've gotten an understanding of how this thing works, how these positions work. And the question is, would you like to follow our trades while you learn using our short term strategies that I've outlined? And a lot of a lot of people come in and they we share everything in, in the trade alert service, how to trade, how to manage it, how to adjust trades, what to do. I even work with people that do their own trades and, you know, help them get out of there. <laughs> get out of some of the bad situation. And so we're constantly, constantly teaching you and trying to allow you to learn and how to do that. And then eventually a lot of, you know, actually a lot of people just, you know, they learn what they learn and then they, they move on and that's what we do. So the question is, you know, would you like to follow our trades, you know, and, and of course, yes, it's just a great learning opportunity for you. So when we talked, you know, when, when we started here, I asked, you know, are you interested in learning new strategies? You want, you want to see your account grow? You want to find the right strategy. Well, this is it. This is the place that you can get there and, and break those barriers and the things that are allowing you not to work, right? To work, actually. The question is, are you going to keep doing what you're doing and hope that one day you're going to make it stick? Or are you going to finally take the steps that you, that you get to a place where things just work and it's not an easy thing i'm not i'm not trying to sell you something here it's not an easy thing you you have to have a no quit attitude you have to have commitment discipline and having an edge and you have to you have to you know because a lot of people come in and they want to make money really really fast and this is not one of those trade alert services okay this is one that is going to allow you to trade for the rest of your life i promise you and if you understand and grab the concepts of how we do this, it really does work. It really works and, and you're gonna be successful, okay? And so our trade alert service is, uh, it works basically from my account, most of it. We have other traders in, in the group as well, but uh, these are automated trades that come out of my account and we place them, we roll them, we manage them, and they're, it's very, very accurate. Okay, and it's very quick. So we used Telegram and it's a great platform. And this is how we automated our trade you know, scenarios. So we have live chat rooms, right? That we talk back and forth. And then we also have one way chat groups where you can get the exact trades and it's very, very clear. It's very clear. And so before, you know, we, we automated it, I would have to just type in the, the right positions and there was a lot of errors and, and now it's just very, very clean. We have a lot of people that, that really enjoy you know, the service, I'm not going to go through all of them, but these are guys that, that came in. Some of them are still here. Some have left and, you know, they love the camaraderie. They love the, the way that we do things. And, uh, it, it's just an educational, great to be in environment. Okay. And, and really that was my goal when I, when I started this. So there's a lot of people that are, you know, kind of sleazy out there and, and that's not us, you know, we'd want to do things right and hopefully and help people you know, along the way. So I have a guarantee. My guarantee is if you subscribe for one month and lose money by following my trades, I will refund your subscription by 125%. So I've done this for five years and I've never had to pay this back <laughs> it, because it just works. We have a, this is our, this is what we post in terms of pricing. Now we're in a stage that you can't join right now. And I'll, I'll explain that to you. But if you join our wait list and the wait list you know, we, we have it for about three months and actually we're going to be opening our wait list in the first week of November. And so if you join the wait list, you'll get 20, Twenty dollars off for the rest of your life, you know, month after month, and and you can pick, you know, any one of these three platforms. Uh, you can also upgrade or downgrade at any time as well. You know, if things you know don't work out for you or you want to focus on different strategies, uh, we allow that too. So, if this is for you, basically. If you want to learn a step-by-step -step process to gain income in a market that goes up and down, if you want to finally break the series of losses and account drains, if you want to earn consistent income that sets you apart from other traders, this is it. It's This is just it. And so what you have access to is uh, $20 off for life. Okay. And you can have basically today you can gain access to the wait list. Let me put that, that offer up there for you. Unless, uh, somebody else did it for me. Well, let's see. No, not yet. Okay. Start offer. So let me know if you can see it. And this is basically the link that you can use to join our wait list. And again, there's no, there's no cost to joining, you know, it just gives you a seat on there and we do close the service uh, for three months. So we're, we're opening it up 
on the first week of November, and then we close it uh, basically two weeks later. And the reason we do that is because there's a lot of new people that come in and we wanna answer those questions, all the questions that they have at one time, because we wanna focus on our traders. And so during that two week period, you know, we, we kind of work pretty hard answering all the questions that you guys have and, and wanting to learn new things. And, and about two to three weeks after that, things are calm. Everyone knows what's what they're doing. See the, the alerts and they just work. So that's why we have the wait list. And the additional part is that we have traders that trade for a living and they come in, they come in with uh, great strategies and we adapt a lot of some of those strategies, right? Because the, you know, these guys are pretty smart. These guys trade, you know, they trade for a living and, and they come to our trade alert service and uh and some of them we actually we give them a place because they're just really really good and they help other people and so that's part of it so you get access to that you get a training and education channel that we have as well out there you know that are tied in with our trade alert service uh, automated signals that that come in and they come in between 15 seconds and 30 seconds and sometimes 45 seconds but they're they come in you know right on time as you place them so that you know you get a trade entry fill price price target after fill and my guarantee also you know again i help you adjust your trades right if you're if you're not familiar with it you know i have a course as well with it but if you're not really familiar with it you know, we help you and how to adjust the trades. But after a while, it's it's kind of like, it's just a process and it just works out really, really well. So it's just a great environment for you guys to win. So if you're really interested, again, you don't have to pay anything now, but join the wait list, get on there, and then you can make a decision whether you want to join or not. But come on, you know, for $39, $79 or $109 a month, you're going to wait, make way more than that with these results that we have, guys. So questions, let's see. Definitely have enough time for questions. I just want to make sure. Al, I joined late. Uh, did you cover how to adjust the trades? Yes. I basically we went through, you know, how we adjust the trades and push through additional premium, you know, for these. So let's see. Make sure I got okay. Question, Jared. Uh, I have a 5K account and 5K margin. Does it mean 20% risk should be? Yeah. So if you have a 5K account, it's it's kind of small, uh, but you don't want to go beyond 20% uh, period, you know, and that'll probably restrict you to one trade. But, I, you know, I, again, I don't want to tell you something that's not true. Uh, what size account can you start with? Ideally, you want to have a $30,000 account. OK, <laughs> I mean, that's ideal, but you can actually go in with like a 5K account, but you have to be very careful and very selective on what you're going to trade. Uh, is it possible to manage bullish spreads, huge drop, 20, 20? Yeah, for those times, you know, you just get out of the market because the market's going to go down 40, you know, and those are generally 10 year gaps you know that we get but yeah it can hurt you pretty bad do 70t start on mondays actually they don't they start on i trade 70te every other day pretty much and i limit myself to three trades on 70te so i have to wait until you know because i don't want to extend myself and so i want to wait until one trade goes away and then i'll put on a new trade uh, which broker do you use i use thinkorswim a lot of people use Tasty Works and others, and actually some people work, you know, outside of the U.S. and they use TradeStation, international brokers, and those kind of things. Those kind of uh, uh, brokers. Five days. If there's still five days to expir expiration, do you decide to roll over? What conditions? Oh, okay. So when when a trade gets threatened, and and I usually like today there was a, a trade that I had rolled from zero DTE, and because it was zero DTE, you know I waited till you know we got about five to ten points away from the market, and then I I rolled the trade and I widened it as well. So that's what I'm doing. And, and again, I'm only using two contracts on these trades, so it's very very easy to manage them. Would you have a 25k of closing more than three trades a week? PDT, yeah. So yeah, 25. You got to be careful with PDT. The best way to do it is to have an account that's over $25,000, but you can trade every other day. Just can't. It has to be three. It can only be three trades in a five consecutive day uh, period. If you go to four trades, then you'll get flagged for uh, for PDT. So be careful with that. Yes, we have all the Google Sheets performance in here as well. All of it's transparent. You can see everything that we do. Basically, once we place a trade, we place the trade and four hours later, uh, you'll be able to see it. And we do that because I have a new uh, <laughs> a news alert, a newsletter 
uh, that I share Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I and I share all of my trades in that newsletter. And actually, a lot of people, you know, pick out those trades from there, <laughs> get free stuff. But if you want it really live, then you have to really join the the Trade Alert service. But there are rolling order costs. Yes, yes, you're you're gonna have to play commissions and fees when you roll the trade. Absolutely, and we build that in by by the way in the Google Sheets. How much capital do you need to have uh, in a broker account? I recommend you know at least twenty five thousand. Uh, that's the best way to go. I'm, I'm actually working with subscribers that I'm actually managing their account through TD Ameritrade. We have an offer on that, but that's slowly coming in. Now I have uh, three people that are that I'm going to be managing their accounts for. But you have to have at least a thirty thousand dollar account for that. Okay, I answered that. Are you always rolling weekly? Not always. When a trade gets threatened, you know we roll it. So that's what we do. When you roll over and increase with increase, yes. So when you widen the spread, you're going to use more margin. So if it's a one contract and you widen it by five, that's another $500 that you're adding to your margin. So you have to be very careful with that. Uh, let's see here. I think I got it. I think I got the questions. Let me look, go to the top here. I'm looking in the chat room. Any other questions that you guys have here? Neil is managing. Okay. Uh, what are the fee managing other people's account? Oh, it starts at, because we started now, I mean, Typically, it starts at three hundred and fifty dollars a month. We have a, you know, for the first five accounts that we get in, we're cutting that in half. And right now, I have three people that are that are going in. My limit right now is five accounts. It might get better, but uh, my my limit is five accounts at this point. Let's see here. Deliver alerts in email. No, it doesn't come on email. It comes on Telegram. And Telegram, you can use that. It's very fast. The things come in very quickly. You can use it on your desktop, at anywhere, phone, anywhere. And it's really versatile. Okay, what is the managing other people's account? Okay, managing accounts for the Americans. Can you do this first one to two hours opening in the market? With zero DTE, I basically place trades right at the beginning of the market, open. Okay, Patrick, I see what you what you asked. Full-time trader list, your system is not responding. It's not responding, really. Send me an email if, if you guys can't get into the service. We're having a, some difficulties with, with our program here. If you have trouble getting in, send me an email, al at simpleoptionstrategies.com, and I'll work with you and fix that. Every time I take take rolls, do you do it live? Yes, I do it live. Every, every time I roll a trade, it's live. I cannot use Telegram. Do you deliver alerts on text messages? We don't. We don't use text messages. Uh, sorry. I think I answered all those questions. I think just looking here. Yeah, we have a hard stop here at uh, 12, uh, 1 o'clock p.m. And again, if you have questions, you can always email me and I will answer all your questions. OK, did anyone have a problem signing up for the wait list? Yeah, sometimes uh, you can be assured you'll get in. And and if it comes to the day where, you know, you don't get an email, you know, because you're going to get an email if you're on the wait list, just send me an email and I'll, and I'll help you out. How do you handle large opening gaps beyond the short strike? Yeah, sometimes that happens, but we widen them and, and, you know, enroll them and add call sides to finance it. So it works out. Uh, hi Al, can you help me trade worth 50 E 50 K down? Thank you public. You really do help people. Oh, okay. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, James, this is not an advertisement. But it's pretty good. <laughs> you did help me and help me save a trade where I was 50 K down. Yeah. Yeah. I think I remember that one. So uh, we, we fixed that and, and I think you came out profitable there. So yeah, it's great. So uh, again, the charge for managing accounts right now is, you know, and, and you have to have think or swim and it starts at 175, $175 a month. In addition to the uh, subscription plan, it's a lot for me to do actually, but I manage it using multiple accounts and, uh, and it works. It's starting to work really, really well. Okay, guys, I think I answered all the questions. I hope I did. If I, if I missed you, I'm sorry, join the wait list. If you have a problem, send me an email and hope to see you there in the room and making money. All right, guys, thanks. And I'll be having another session today. I think at seven o'clock and, uh, you can join that one too, if you missed something. All right. Thanks. And, uh, have a great, great day. Thanks.